like a bird, lonely fly away. I don't know where my home is. Don't think those are the lyrics. What's going on, guys? It is Alex here with Northern Scavenger. Just on my way for another weekend adventure here in the Ontario backcountry. But this just isn't any other trip this weekend. I'm actually going on a trip with a couple celebrities. Super stoked to be going on a trip with these guys. They're both excellent paddlers. And uh, we are going to be running the Magnetowan River, which is a new river for me. I know at least one of these guys has paddled it. Just typical to our classic uh, mantra here at Northern Scavenger. We're just a couple dudes looking for adventure. And that's no different this weekend. The only problem, so you guys are now paddling with the Whitewater God, Jim Baird. Yeah. One thing you might learn is that Jim Baird isn't really that good at white water out here. Hoping you don't learn that, but uh, yeah, I, I might dump out there, who knows? We might have a couple spills today. We're gonna be running some big stuff. We're not in a super remote area, but remote enough, so you always wanna be careful, but uh, probably gonna push it a little bit. I'm feeling ant, man, this is gonna be sick. So looking forward to this. Super stoked. Oh yeah, man, stoke level is at uh, Extreme. Extreme levels. You have voice crack stoke, like that's how stoked I am. Yeah. Okay, Buck, in the boat, come on. What? You ready for this, dude? See ya, Tori. Use it. Right down the center. I know. I think we're good. I think it's just a standing wave. Oh, I should have done my deck up. <laughs> I'm just chilling here with it open. As we get close, just call it because it's hard for me to stand up in the back right now just because the way I'm kneeling. So, Alex and Brad are about to run this uh, technical rapid, probably about a class two. And pretty easy, really, but still a few things that could go wrong for sure. Is this good right here? Okay. Ready? Now. Nice. Oh, they're just nailing it. Perfect. Perfect. Nice. That was good. That was awesome. Dude, awesome line. All right, so we got our first portage of the day. The bugs are thick, and this thing's a beast. Beautiful, though. Like, we weren't even in the boat yet. It just rolled off the canoe. Dude, I had like this feeling. I'm like, that paddle's not that secure. That's why I got the paddle pockets. No worries. I hope we can find it. If it's hung up on the, on like the shore, we'll grab it. I lost my paddle. Brad's paddling alone. There it is. Oh, dude, that's sketched. You're gonna have to come back for that. We 
got her back. Well, that was a lesson in and what not to do. So Jim's got to get his line like perfectly here. This has got a solid drop and then a big rooster tail and you have to hit it right on the tongue. It's only probably about a foot wide. If Jim doesn't hit it, Jim's going for a swim. Here he goes, man. There's first, gnarly, oh! And he's out. He's okay. So after watching Jimmy flip there, we're uh, taking a bit of a portage ski. Uh, <laughs> weighted tandem that would probably be pretty sketch. We'd even sketch pretty solo for Jim there, so. Whatever, 100 meters. Get her over with. Right on through, dude. Right on through. We're still gonna run like a probably little class one or class two at the bottom of this. Nothing major, but you know. Why risk it? We still got some more sets to run. I'm not sure which way we want to go down here. Well, let's get out of here and then we uh, Actually, you want to try to get into the Cross River? Like, and then scout that? Oh, f You're right, it is pushing that rock. Oh, we're good. Oh. Yeah. I think you want to be far right, no? I think you're right. No, right there on the left. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight down? Yeah. Oh, it's just a little sketch with that water pushing in that rock there. Eh? Yeah. I was like, uh. <laughs> All right, so we just did another portage. Uh, we kind of eddy hopped on the way down and then at the very end there's kind of an unrunnable ledge that would just flip us. Um, so yeah, Brad and I just carried over, Jim kind of lined his canoe down. Are you ready? Yeah. Got it. Yep. <laughs> that was fun! <laughs> sure, why not? Oh, this looks fun. Right, that's a straight V, dude, and we can ride some of the wave train if you want. Here we go! Whoa, baby! Oh yeah, your deck came open a bit again. Dude, that was sick. <laughs> oh my God. This is the first stretch that we've had no rain. No rain. <laughs> Holy ah. crap, I can maybe take my camera out without it getting soaked. You can like actually shoot some footage of rapids and yeah. Hey Bucky. Hey Buck. Who's over there? Who's over there? Who's there? Oh hey buddy. It's kind of nice just to paddle with no rain for a bit. Dude, this is oh. this is mint. Wow. This is like so nice now. It's as good as it gets. I don't like to be a fry baby and complain about the rain, but like there's some point where I'm just today I'm just like, like come on, man. You know? Well, it's like on a weekend trip too. Like on a week long trip, it, you're like, okay, it's gonna rain, but like one nice. Day. You start yeah. a trip and it's pissing rain, and you're like in the morning, 9 a.m. It's dark. You're like, man. I'm so stoked for doing this, but at the same time, yeah, man, I don't feel this. <laughs> yeah, I'm not feeling it right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Well, that's why it's good, right? It's like you take the you take the highs and the lows, right? Like the more of a low that you go through on a canoe trip, somehow you're always rewarded with something amazing. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, or we'll always be talking about that time that it didn't stop raining the entire trip. <laughs> I can just, oh, I got it. You can, you can get up. Yeah. Oh, she's going. Okay. Oh my God. Nice. Okay, so it's doable. I'm good. I love how you're pulling on my throw rope and I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm stuck on a log right now. Yeah, yeah I got stuck on that. Yep. Which way? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh, she's tight. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, go. Bug season, baby! We're just waiting for Jim to run here so I can get a shot of him, but... Woo-wee! They are everywhere! So brutal. Took on a little water there, eh? I guess if he's trying to... Wave train. The wave train filled us up. Dude, that was so worth it though. Definitely. Oh, you guys just hit all the big stuff. Right? Oh, we just went right through yeah, it. I, I saw, saw you that. like with Buck kind of sneak away on yeah. the side, but I'm yeah. like, no, you let's... Guys just directly for the big part. Why not? Like, we submerged the deck there. <laughs> I went right under. Yeah. Bugs are so thick right now. All right, so uh, we portaged the first half of this uh, chute, and then we're putting in halfway, and we're gonna run the bottom half of it. Looks pretty fun, pretty straightforward line. A uh, couple uh, features that we might want to avoid, but like, it's pretty much a straight shot all the way down. The better news, the sun's come out. I feel like we've earned it at this point, because holy smokes, it was raining all day today. So, nice to have the warmth of the sun, and uh, holy smokes, it's beautiful in here.
boys, did we find our home? Uh, I don't know. It look, it's kind of a cool spot because of that little rapid there and the waterfall and the fishing might be good, but there's also an ATV trail in here. It doesn't look used too much. But it, it just, there's not too many flat spots for a tent. But it looks all right though. You know, the nice part about this? It's a little less fun. Yeah. yeah. You get a point here where like a breeze will whip through. Yeah. Decent spot for a player. No, I'll stay here. No, I don't know. You guys want you guys want to stay here? I'm done to stay here. No. How good are these jackets, dude? Man, I am in like a small heaven right now. It's like a mini oasis, like oh. Seriously, I was starting to go mentally insane by how bad these bugs were. And just because like it was raining, I didn't want to take my bug jacket out. Like Yeah man. I just didn't want to get it wet. This is just this is prime now. The sun's out. Yeah. Protected. Now it's just my hands, which is like whatever. I don't even really care about my hands. Yo, have you seen those little like uh, finger mesh gloves you can get too? No. They look so silly. Like I wonder if they would actually do anything. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, no, this is sweet. I know I can relax. All right, so we've made it to our home for the night. We've got a nice little set of rapids right next to us that we'll be able to fall asleep to and hopefully catch some fish at, right through here. And then we also have the view of these beautiful waterfalls. Over there. Sissy stick. Because you're too scared to hold your hand there. Yeah. It's called the sissy stick technique, someone told me. Bit. I've got about three inches I can drop it, but I just need a bit of tension. We can always reposition, so just kind of get it down. I find this, you like kind of get the, the basic lay first. Yeah. And then you have to kind of just like finesse so that you can get the bug netting down. I kind of do that with my tarp setups. Same, man. Like sometimes I'll just like quickly just throw a tarp up when it's like piss and rain. I don't really care. And other times I'm like, no, we gotta we gotta make this right. You don't need much, man. You can put that up anywhere, basically. Yeah, nice setup. I got the hookups and the setups. <laughs> Buck's just loving it in there now. Oh yeah, he's not dumb. <laughs> he's he's done, man. Yeah. Buck is down for the count. No bugs anymore. What a trooper. <laughs> Looks comfortable. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? We are reporting live from the safety of the bug tent and it is just like, I can't even describe in words right now how nice this is. It's a war zone out there. <laughs> like, it's a literal war zone. It is insane. Like just to be in here without my bug helmet on. <laughs> so nice. And we're getting dive bombed like out there. Look at them all. Yeah, like all above you. Top. Yeah, it's insane. Man, you brought corn on the cob too? I brought corn on the cob too. <laughs> Brad does not mess around when it comes to food. And we were eating like kings on this trip. Well, because man. he also brought poutine. You Crazy. Have, you had poutine on the backcountry too? I have not. This is going to be my first time. I think. I don't think I've had poutine. It's usually like a post trip thing, but I'm yeah. like, man, it's a weekend. Like, we can bring it. Yeah. Today was like a. A nice day of paddling wouldn't have been overly difficult, minus the fact that it just rained on us all day, and uh, yeah, the rain and the bugs combined just made it tough. But it wasn't too bad of a day, and uh, the boys deserve some good eats tonight, and that's what we're gonna do. We're having some burgers. We have some corn wrapped up in here. Brad is currently making us some poutine, which is unreal. Yo, what do we have here? We got like a little poutine special. Oh, we got the poutine shop. 
Putin shop. You're messing up my, you're messing up my language skills here. Got some fresh cheese curds going on there. I'm gonna steal it. Come in for a cheeky fry. Oh yeah. Some curds. Oh yeah. Get those nice and toasty. We got some gravy. Got the gravy train going on here. Oh baby. Oh baby. Give me a little extra. Nice. Melt those squeaky cheese curds a bit. It's <laughs> going straight to the arteries. So good though. These are fries are swimming in gravy. I probably over poured the gravy, but oh How my good god, is it though? it's so good. Oh, good eats. Mm. Oh, cheese curds are like the perfect sweetness too. Unreal. Say something in French, bro. Bon appetit. <laughs> Je t'aime the poutine. Je m'appelle Poutine. My name is Poutine. <laughs> Yeah. Brad, what happened? I uh, I don't know. I kind of slipped on the wet rocks and stumbled and smoked my toe into one of the rocks, and now I'm pretty sure I fractured it. <laughs> oh man! So she's not feeling good. You're Woke hobbling up. around pretty good this morning. Yeah, it, it's swollen about like twice the size at least now. Oh. So. Jim's been basically not wearing a shirt the whole time. The bugs aren't bothering him. Oh, they still suck, though. <laughs> They're pretty bad. Let's be honest. They're terrible. Remember my back last night? Dude. I, I felt like it was like a thousand little pinpricks happening all at once. So gross. Yeah. Just slapped Jim's back and there was like 50 mosquitoes just dying yeah. right there. It's like a smear of red, basically. <laughs> Alright, what's going on, guys? So, it is Sunday. Uh, technically day two of the trip. And uh, we're just packing up, finishing up, packing up all of our stuff. We're gonna hit the river. We've got a short little paddle here, then a quick portage that apparently isn't a super fun portage, but it shouldn't be too difficult. And then uh, after that, we've got just flat water paddling back to Wawakesh, where um, Brad and I are gonna take out. And Jim is carrying on. His brother is meeting him, and they're gonna continue on and do uh, the lower Meg um, for the next couple days. So it's been a lot of fun so far, and I think we've got a little bit more fun ahead of us today. I might keep my fishing rod set up. That's a good idea. Just in case we see some like tasty pools that we want to like provoke a little strike in or something. Yeah, you made a better choice. So our morning portage today ended up being a bit of a grind. Lots of ups and downs. I got lost multiple times. And the bugs are just so thick right now. Epically thick. But it's over. We're moving on. Never want to portage again. It's miserable. Killing like multiple just with random claps in the air. Look, it's right around this area. Oh, one, two, three, five. Let's see how many we can get this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. That time. Let's see this time. Okay, let's see. Wait till they get really bad here. One, two, three, four. Five is your average, between five and six.
So we made it to Wawakesh. And we are paddling the final stretches of the trip. So this is where we have to say goodbye to Jim. We're gonna miss him. I don't know, man. We don't have the adventure to guide us anymore. Yeah. Actually, we don't have any maps, so. <laughs> <laughs> we, we actually might get in a bit of a sticky situation here. Sarcasm aside, we don't have maps. <laughs> <laughs> we may end up getting ourselves into a sticky situation, but. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya. Bye, Jim. See you later, guys. My quest must continue. Don't go. Bye, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. We'll never forget you. I just, I just get so fat. <laughs>